Hey guys, this is Chris with the US Tech Channel. Today I have the AT&T LG Optimus G Pro in front of me and we're going to go ahead and root this device. Uh, this actual uh, information came from a user at XDA uh, Developers uh, by the name of Carrot, spelled C-A-R-R-E-T-T. -T. Sorry if I'm pronouncing that incorrectly. But it's uh, been reposted on AndroidCentral.com uh, uh, by Idol0095 uh, just to help out some of the LG Optimus G Pro users as I believe it was originally a process for another mm -hmm. device. So let's start. Um, we do have a method of open up zip files uh, built into Windows 8. That's what operating system this computer uh, is using. Uh, we had some LG drivers downloaded already but we went ahead and updated the drivers, downloaded them, and executed this file right here. And now we're going to enable USB debugging on our device. Go into the settings. General. Developer options. It gives you this warning. We're going to go ahead and click OK. We're going to enable USB debugging. It gives you a little warning. Go ahead and click Yes. We downloaded and extracted the actual exploit files right here. Now it asks you to connect your phone to the computer with your USB cable. Put the phone into charge only mode at settings, general, PC connection, USB type. Open current root.bat and follow its prompts. You will need to change from charge only to media sync MTP mode. The setting is in the same place. Current root.bat. Waiting for device. Connect your LG. Optimus G, that's what it was designed for originally, via USB in charge mode only. Beginning root process, now change from charge only to MTP. No need to disconnect USB. Press enter after making the change. I'll give it a second. Go ahead and press any key. If UID equals zero root, GID equals zero root is displayed, press enter to continue. Even though all this happens, it says you are now properly rooted. Alright, now the only thing I've done is reboot the computer.
I followed all the prompts again. So at this point what I had noticed was that I didn't have a Super SU installed on the device so I went to the Google Play Store and I downloaded Super User I went ahead and installed it After installing it, I opened it up. I went to the info tab. And it said that SU binary had been installed. I went ahead and updated it. Gave it super user permission. I went out. I ran root checker again, gave it super user permissions, and verified that I had root access. So for more information on this device and more, please like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's viewers like you that allow me to purchase these devices and do these videos. Thanks a lot.